What's up, YouTube? It's Pelfrey, and this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. I'm sitting in my chair, rocking. You might be getting a little seasick, so let me hop up real quick. Let's talk about the tank. Here we are again with another video on the Red Sea Reefer 250. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've, been ha I've had this tank run for about five years now. It's gone through a lot, a lot of different hardwood, uh, hard, <laughs> hardware changes. I uh, used to have an Apex Classic on it. It's been gone for like a year and a half now. Um, I'm now doing what I call the simple method. And, uh, you know, it's it's worked out for me. And on top of that, uh, just leaving the tank alone, letting it do its thing has really worked out for me. Now, uh, if you remember a couple videos ago, I talked about my salinity because my Tunes ATL pump was going bad and we were leaving for a couple of days. So I overfilled the tank with um, RO water and my salinity has bounced around quite a bit. So much so that I've lost that piece in the middle of the frame. Uh, that piece in the back there is on its way out. Um, and it's got to be a salinity issue. Um, I say it's got to be that, but we'll get to uh, more into that here in a little while. And this is a PC rainbow that I bought in the front of the screen there that I bought just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's, you know, it's probably seen better days. Um, if you, Remember or don't remember, I moved, excuse me there. So there's a bird's nest and there's one and they were one colony and they broke because it was originally right here and the torches obviously were hammering the um, bird's nest corals very, very badly. Um, while I'm, oh, it's on my mind also, somebody asked about this a while, what I'm using for cabinet lighting. And I'm still using, I've been using these for five years now. I have two of them, um, but these are motion sensing lights and I just have them turned on now. And I only have to charge them up about every two months or so. I don't have to charge them up very often. I'm not in here that often. So I have one here and I have one in here. And the reason that I say, I, well, it's not in here right now. It's actually charging because I was doing some stuff in the sump earlier, forgot the light was on and that killed the battery. So. Um, I do still have a mess underneath the sump as far as the Camor pumps are concerned. And it is about time for me to swap out Calquasser. Uh, this one's very, very low and this was a fresh batch of it. So it's about time for me to swap that over. So I should be able to just pivot that box over a little bit to get that done. I don't really like all of this because the harder it is for me to get to things inside the tank, chances are I'm not going to do it, but I do need to be running Calquasser. Um, and I say I need to, I just, I've done it for so long now, I'll just do it. Uh, I do need to top off the RO um, auto top off tank. But first, let's pull out some Catamorpha. This stuff actually has a little bit more room to grow inside of here. Uh, I'm just gonna take it out. I don't know if you can see it very well. But once it starts to get like white right there from the calculus or hitting it, that's usually um, when I start pulling some of the Catamorpha out. And I do have a two gallon bucket right here over in your left hand corner let's see how much of this we can fill up i am putting rubber gloves on because i do have bristle worms and um, i've accidentally touched one before and it didn't do anything but that was probably the one and only chance that i have to ever really touch one and it not um, sting me so you know i got a little bit of bubble algae in there but this is some thick thick stuff and what i typically do is just grab a bunch of it start ripping and I have tried to give this away uh, to local people um, haven't had a whole lot of luck I don't know if it's because of the bristle worms or um, people just don't have or don't run refugiums because you know I don't run a skimmer so this is my filtration um, and you know it's actually it's worked out great for me so what I also like to do is since I'm in here let's go ahead give this stuff a good flip now the downside of this and you probably can't see it very well but it kicks up a lot of the detritus in the bottom of this section of the sump and it will make the tank cloudy and i'll just kind of grab along the sides of the sump any of it that's stuck there i'll try to get it removed but i'll just make sure that it's all submerged under the water and here in a couple of weeks we'll have another great harvest and you can see I've almost completely filled up that two gallon bucket. And then I've also had people ask me to ship it and I've done that before. 
And for some people it worked out great. And for others, not so much. I shipped some out one time and basically the guy, uh, whenever he got it, you know, it was, it was dead. Uh, it stunk really bad. It was in bad shape. And mind you, uh, I didn't charge anything for the Cato Morpha itself, but I did charge the shipping. And that's just one of them things where it's non-refundable. But if there's anybody interested uh, in just paying shipping uh, that's non-refundable, uh, maybe I'll reconsider uh, shipping some of this stuff out. But you have to remember, I do have Astrina starfish and bristle worms. So if you're interested in any of this, you're probably going to get some of that with it. Otherwise, if nobody wants it, uh, this is exactly what happens to it every time. Just straight into the garbage. You can see here, the tank is pretty cloudy. And again, it's because stirring up that chamber is always going to do this when it stirs up that stuff. And I could probably run some floss in here to catch most of it, but the inevitable is going to happen and it's going to make its way into the tank. So I actually did test the water. I uh, did not test for magnesium or calcium because my test kits are expired, but I did test the water and the salinity is at 1.025. The Alkalinity is at 7.5. The phosphates, which I test, I test with a phosphorus checker, it's like 154, 147. Uh, you'll see it here in the in the screen, but it ends up being like 0.46. My nitrates were zero. Phosphates have always run high in this tank. Nitrates have always run zero, and I do have some nitrate mixed up down here. I use the green leaf. Um, powdered nitrate, potassium nitrate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add some of that to my ATL container. And then whenever I fill it up, it'll just kind of mix it in there. That way I'm feeding the tank nitrates constantly. And it's been a long time since I've added nitrates to the ATL container. It's been a long time since I've tested the water. So, you know, along with the salinity issues, the nitrates and high phosphates could be very well what's going on with these corals right here. I'm not really sure. But what I may do, instead of purchasing uh, calcium and magnesium test kit, is I may just order an ICP test. I don't know if I'll go with the Triton test or the ATI. I've done both of them a couple times. Really don't have a preference to either one of them. So I just may order one of those so I can get those values. Because I don't test that often. I mean, we know this. And for the same price of me buying two test kits that are probably going to expire on the shelf, I could buy one test kit, ship it off to a lab, and they can fully test everything. So that's probably the direction that I'm gonna go. So if you don't mind, let me know what you prefer, Triton over ATI. Now I do know, or I don't know if the ATI still does this, but they used to test your RO water as well, which was very nice. That'll basically wrap up this video. I just need to get some RO water from the garage to fill that up. And I'll be done with the tank. Probably thaw out a frozen cube for the tank to get it fed. Um, I do need to refill the auto feeder up here but that's that folks. Again, remember you can see live updates of the tank or more up to date updates of the tank on Instagram. It only takes like a minute to sign up. I'm at Pelfrey's Reef. Check out the website at pelfrey.net. Thanks for following along as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.